All right, guys, this is the basic, the very first part of Illustrator that you will have. I will do this with you in class over and over, but it's really just a general, just a bit of a backup to see where we're at. So you will be working from the Moodle. If not, you'll get these files somewhere. But on the Moodle here, Exercise 1, YouTube, that's what we are. Exercise 1, Illustrator Working Files. Click on that and you will download a file with all this stuff in it. Okay, so in your downloads, this is it, it'll look like that, Toy Illustrator zipped. You've got a Word file, which is this one, which is this file here. You've got Toy.ai, that's the Illustrator file that you need, and then there's some other exercises, but just for now. And the image is just the image, so you basically just need the Toy file, just literally open that, and that's it. Okay, you will get a file with that. And what you've got to do in class, is what everyone has to do, is just read the documentation. Okay, if all else fails, read the instructions. So open the, to I'm just going to show you really quickly the pen tool, but open the file toy, which was previous, da, 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 da. So go through this word file, and you're going to do all these things. So literally, word for word, read what it says to do. So by the end of this exercise, you'll have a, a use the color picker to color pick the brown, change the color to make your own color, put a brush on it, put a gradient on it and bring it all together and make a file, okay? That's the finished version of what you're going to do. And we've got this other exercise with type, but just for now, we're gonna be using the pen tool and layers, and that's where you're at. So that's the Microsoft Word file, and this is your Illustrator file over here now, okay? All in class, I'll go through all of this with pen tools and what's what. But what we're doing is blow up the area quite big, magnifying glass, you've got your swatches, you've got your thing. This will drive you nuts, until you get it sorted out. But we have a layer over here, same deal. Same as InDesign, Photoshop, all the same. Template layer, okay? It's locked, you can turn it on and off. It's locked, we can't click on it. So you can see, if I try to click on that, we want layer two, and it tells you over here what to do first. Like we might draw one of these bones first. So I'm just trying to go slow. So layer two, double click, bones layer, okay? So on this layer, we want the pen tool, and we want it with our fill and stroke. Okay, so no, no stroke. I tend to use a bright color. You can see what's going on at the moment. If we draw anything now, it's gonna be a pink outline with nothing in the middle. So this is the pen tool here. So we're gonna start with here and literally click and drag. Okay, that's the first line. So I'll blow this up really big. As I said, this is really just a quick so we've just clicked from there to there. The next one, we want to draw this curve around here. So we're going to click here, and don't let go of our mouse, and pull. And you can see it's creating handles on the ear, all right? Okay, so we, that's kind of close. So if I was to, that's drawn a circle, a curve around there. If I was to click on this next one, it almost does. It follows the curve around. I can go back, and I can get that curve, and I can change the curve of the thing, okay? So the next one, we want to go back onto the pen tool, back onto this guy, click, and drag out the curve to that one. So it's a matter of click, I haven't let go of my mouse. The next other thing you can do is you can go back and turn the anchor off, click. So we're, all we're doing is clicking and dragging, turning the path off, and down here, and then click on that to seal off the path. As, I, as We'll do this exact thing in class, but just for now. So the general idea of it is with the pen tool, if you click once, twice, it'll give you a straight line. It'll keep giving you a straight line, but if you click and don't let go but pull, it'll give you a curved line. Then go to the next one and pull, and it'll give you a curved line. Okay, once that's gone, you can use the direct selection tool, go back in, click on the nodes, and move the handles, okay, do all sorts of things, but what we're doing is just drawing the general shapes. I'll just do another one. So this one, we're gonna click here. I'm gonna click it, drag it around there. We know it'll get to about there, so click. It's kind of, it's really just close. I'm gonna turn this guy off. Okay, so we'll go back and fix some of the points a bit later on. So all you're doing is click, drag, click, drag around to get the shape of what you're after. Okay. 
So that's that. So that's the first bit. Then just read your notes, and I'll show you in class, but that's the pen tool as a rule. When you get to the next bit, you want the fill, you want the eyedropper, and you want to click on the brown, and it will fill that brown. Okay, so the next one, click on that one, eyedropper, it'll fill that brown. The next exercise down here is a coloured one. You want to click on that one, and you want to change your colour to some colour. Okay, that's that one. So we'll go through, so that's the ear layer. Then over here, new layer, and this one, say, would be the head. So over here now, double click. This is the head layer. You can lock that ear one off once they're all done. So the head layer, back over here to the pen tool. I'm just gonna start pretty much in the middle. I'm just kind of guessing this. So I'm gonna come down to about there. Okay, come to here. And we know that it didn't do the right curve, so I'm holding Option down on this thing, so we're getting this curve back. And literally, so we're here. So you're just going to go through and just quickly, you can see that's drawing the last thing that I had. So you could do whatever you want, but I'm going to flip that around. So really, it's just a matter of just going through and just drawing using the pen tool. So click and drag, click and drag. There's other exercise in there that we're going to do. Of this one so I'm going to quickly do this really rough it's not right at all but okay the next one will be so we'll fill this one that color okay so the next one will be eyes, eyes layer so over here we've made an eye layer turn the head layer off okay so we're going to do the same thing literally click click just keep clicking until you get your vague shape. You can see how I'm doing that. I'm just doing that really rough now, but you can see the general gist of how it works. That one's going to be filled black. So we use our eyedropper for that one. Click on the black here. All good. You can turn the layer, but we can see now we've lost the eye layer. So over here, click on the head layer in the layer palette. Drag it down underneath the eyes and you can see the eyes come through. So you'll go through based on this word file here. Use a selection tool. So it tells you word for word what to do. I just want to give you an idea of the general gist of how it works. Okay. I'll do the text one now, but it's a really matter of in class. Read this, read this, and off we go. Okay.